Welcome to the Cavendish University Zambia Virtue Orientation. I am so, so excited to welcome you, our new students. You, the ones who just joined us this August intake. My name is Tandi Absoni. I'm representing the admissions office. Um, so what does the admissions office do? So the admissions office is separated into two wings. We have the new enrollment that deals with students from inception up to the point where they get to register. And we have the retentions office that deals with uh, returning students, or if you want, you can call them continuing students, up to the point at which they um, graduate. So at what point is a student at Cavendish considered a fully registered student? Obviously, you have to go through the process of inquiry. Then um, you go through the process of application. Then we send your application to the faculty for assessment. And once it's approved, we now get to issue you with an acceptance letter. And at that point, when you make the payment, which is the registration fee, user fee, as well as 50% of your semester tuition fee, you are now an enrolled student. Now, it's at that point when you become eligible for our exciting students referral program. So how does the referral program work? It gets you 10% discount on your semester tuition fee for every student that you refer. That's exciting, right? Very exciting. You can imagine in a semester when you bring 10 students, it means you will run th through that semester for free. Hmm, that's even more exciting now. And apart from the student referral program, we have what we call the corporate referral program. We deal with so many stakeholders, starting from local, international, and when I say international, I mean Namibia, Malawi, and Zimbabwe. So how does that work and how does it benefit the organization? When any organization sends us 10 students, we waive off 20% off on their semester tuition fee. Now that's even more exciting. So as Cavendish, we are a very responsible institution. We just don't want to take away at all the times. We also want to give back. So this is why we come up with all these exciting incentives that will allow our students to make money while they study. Which one is another exciting student's incentive? We have the scholarship program, the very exciting scholarship program. So we have the Academic Excellence Scholarship Program, which is just for school leavers, especially those that, um, that obtain 10 points and below. They're eligible for a full scholarship at Cavendish University for the full program. And this doesn't matter which program, it can be in the School of Medicine, it can be in the School of Law, School of Business and Information Technology, or the School of Arts, Education and Social Sciences. So this, we began this program in 2017 and over the years we have grown. We have more than 200 active scholarship students that are currently learning with us. Apart from that scholarship, we have the um, Advisory Council Scholarship and um, this one, our advisory members are seven and each one of them, depending on what category they belong to, are eligible to bring a student on full scholarship every semester and when I say every semester I mean twice a year so this is under January intake as well as July intake and the last one we have what we call the Chancellor's Scholarship so we call it the Chancellor's His and Hers Scholarship so this is um, a postgraduate scholarship meaning from our alumni there are those students that uh, did very well and they want to do their master's programs and they don't have the capacity for funding. We now throw it out there and it's really competitive, it's um, merit-based, nothing dubious about it. So that's what we have as Cavendish University. We have a lot of other exciting things and once you join us, you'll be able to have access to those things. Um, how I wish this um, orientation was the usual one where we get to interact physically, we shake hands, we do all sorts of entertainment, but unfortunately this is what it is, life has to go on. I wish you an exciting journey at Cavendish. I'm not wishing you a perfect journey because there's nothing as perfect, but I can assure you that you're going to have an exciting journey. Thank you so much. Hi, my name is Wisam Ponella, Senior Retention Officer. Welcome to Cavendish University Zambia. As a student, you're supposed to make sure that you register within the first four weeks of the semester. So after four weeks, when you register after four weeks, that is called late registration and you'll be billed a 350 quarter for that. 
Therefore, always ensure that you register within the first four weeks. So registration starts from faculty. Faculty will give you the modules that you, you are supposed to register for as a student. After that, you then go to academic office. Academic office will confirm the modules that you've been given so as to check uh, if they're correct and uh, you've written them correctly. From there, you then go to continuing office or rather retention office. From there, we'll print for you a performer invoice and that invoice will show you how much you should pay for that particular semester. Then you go to finance. In finance, you can make your payment in there, then you'll be cleared. After you're cleared, then you come back to retention office so that we can give you the proof of registration. Once that is done, then your registration process is complete. Other than that, in retention office, you can get an ID from there. All you have to do is um, uh, inform Mr. Marceliso then he will capture you and then issue out an ID the very day itself. In an instance where you want to change the program, you can write a letter to the registrar and uh, that has to be done within the first four weeks of the semester. So you cannot change the program after four weeks. You can only do so within the first four weeks. Even when you want to withdraw or defer the semester, you need to write a letter addressed to the registrar then submit it to academic office. Then you'll be given feedback within 48 hours. After that, once you're given feedback, ensure that you take the letter to finance as well as retention office so that we can have a record of that. Other than that, as a student, you're supposed to make sure that you go through the code of conduct so that you can be familiar with the rules and regulations of the university. During the exam period, students are required to collect their exam dockets from retention office. Now, you can only get an exam docket if you have paid 100% of your tuition fees. Therefore, you need to make sure that you make your payments before the end of the semester to avoid any, any inconvenience. I would like to welcome you once again to Cavendish University. I look forward to meeting you and uh, interacting with you. Thank you very much.